An essential need, they say. That's pe what people in Brandon are calling their newest fire station. And this is actually the latest of new fire stations popping up all over Southern Hillsborough County. New tonight, ABC Action News reporter Jada Williams explains why this is so important to the people who live here. Hillsborough County's population growth isn't just in Tampa. It's also in places like Apollo Beach and Brandon. So now it's time for fire and rescue to reflect that growth. <laughs> new doors are opening in South Hillsborough County. In the first week of 2023, Hillsborough Fire and Rescue celebrated the new fire station 45 in Brandon and station 29 in Apollo Beach. This isn't just any ribbon cutting, at least not to Jim Wheatley. We need these services desperately. You can't compare the cost to a fire station to a life. Wheatley moved to Brandon in 2000. Within the next decade, the population in the county grew 20%. Call volumes went from under 90,000 to 130,000 in that time span, but not one single new fire station opened, leaving Brandon with just one. When you have that fear of dying in you, and you pick up that phone and you're expecting some help, we need to get that help to these, the people in the community. You know, we need that. Dependency Wheatley knows about firsthand. I'm an open heart candidate surgeon. I had surgery, so uh, these guys came on and got me, uh, um, it was critical. I was dying. I'm serious. A half an hour later, I'm on the table. They're doing the surgery. Since 2015, we've added 12 rescue ambulances, going from 28 ambulances to 40 ambulances. And this is significant as 85% uh, or more of our emergency calls are for medical. Now the county has plans to put 24 new fire stations in areas master planning shows need it most. For the last two years, Station 45 operated out of a small module while the main station was built. 45 became one of the top five busiest stations in the county. As Southern Hillsboro grows, the need to ensure an eight minute or less response time grows as well. But you think about the fast growing communities and you can't be have a fire station 45 and then you're going somewhere 20 minutes later, you're not gonna get there in time. And this isn't about just putting up brand new fire stations. They also want to renovate and update existing ones as well. And Brandon, Jada Williams, ABC Action News.